when I'm with the plants, everything else disappears. It's like, you know, being at one with God in nature. I mean, there's nothing better than that. Susan Lerner enjoys tending to the garden of her suburban West Palm Beach home, trimming, pruning, and picking for bugs. This is not a, a standard Florida landscape garden. Lerner is the newly elected president of the Palm Beach chapter of the Rare Fruit Council and is fairly new to the gardening world. A native New Yorker, she hasn't had much experience in gardening, but has always had a passion for plants. I've always loved plants. I've always, since, since my third grade teacher, Mrs. Shea, introduced us to coleus, I was in love with plants taking snips of coleus and watching them root and grow and become plants. I just love that. For almost 14 or 15 years, I've been eating a 100% raw and living foods diet, which means I don't eat anything cooked. I don't eat any animal product of any kind whatsoever. And I like growing, I like eating food that's right off the tree. I have a, an avocado tree over there that's got, I don't know, maybe two or 300 avocados on it. Lerner looks forward to sharing her tips and advice about gardening to the members. I get free mulch from FPNL. Anybody can get free mulch from FPNL when they trim the trees, but they deliver a truckload of mulch. And you should know what's invasive here and take it out because the invasives are destroying our environment and um, making it hard for our native, our beautiful, beautiful natives to grow. With over 40 different species of fruits, trees, plants and flowers in her garden, Lerner has much to offer as the new president of the Palm Beach chapter of the Rare Fruit Council. This isn't that much, it's a half an acre, but I've got probably 20 fruit trees on it now, and I have room for a, f a few more. And I have a vegetable garden, raised bed vegetable garden that we'll be planting in the next couple of weeks, and it's pretty exciting. <laughs>